I wonder if we can put the trailer on the back and put Rosie in the trailer and take her for a bike ride. I think you was all right in that one, yeah. Livery. <laughs> it's Rosie's birthday today, but I don't think it's for Rosie. Is it Rosie? How heavy was that? Very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we see what's inside it? Well, it comes well packed. Apparently, it's going to cost me a fortune for a Joe's new arm. <laughs> <laughs> All the tools. Instructions. Now, do we read the instructions or do we do the normal thing of put it together, put it together wrong, and then read the instructions? Read the instructions. Let's put it together and see what happens. Well, it's definitely well packaged. Well, the assembled side of it's quite easy. There's a spacer here, plastic spacer, which is just in there as a spacer. You need to put the front wheel in, put the handlebars on, which is four bolts. And oh, and the pedals and the front mud guard. And then there's a big light that goes on front of this basket, which goes on the front of the frame. Send your socket set, spanners, everything you need to put it together. If you're ever tightening up a unit like this with four bolts in, you're always best to do it diagonally. So it equals the pressure on each screw. It doesn't bend the bracket. Something like that. We'll adjust it again when we get it all together. Just go across those diagonally like that. Bless you. Then all we need to do is pedals, light, basket and wheel. Just a spacer for transport in there. When you're fitting the wheel you need to make sure the pads are separated so the disc brake will fit in. You don't want it catching on any side of that. So all we do with the wheel is loosen off those bolts, disc brake on the brake side, slide it in and see how it works with the brake. We might need to adjust this slightly. Before we fit the wheel, I think it's probably better to fit the front mud guard first. Just a bolt that goes through that clamp there. As this goes in here, washers on the outside. We're making sure the disc brake fits in between the actual pads, like so. Pedals! Now, you've got to be careful with these because they have a left hand and right hand thread. And if you try to put the wrong pedal in the wrong side, you'll damage it. And that's the same on all bikes. If you turn it backwards before you tighten it up, it helps with lining the threads up. They go in fine, we'll just get the spanner and nip those up. <laughs> nip that up, pull the pedal on, nip it up, and then we'll do the same with this one. Turn it round again. Maybe I should have took the battery out before I turned it upside down. Oh. Not Stand so we get in there. Still haven't checked the instructions. So it's basket on the front and then the light goes on the front of the basket by the looks of it. Yes, this fastens onto the frame and then this fastens onto the actual basket. All fit. Four of these Allen screws with washers into these pre-drilled tapped holes. They'll screw straight into there. 
pointing to those around with its wide. It's a nice little span of this, it works well. And the slots in these to line them up. We'll get it somewhere central. And again, we'll tighten these diagonally across. Light. It's got a bracket on the back. That bolts onto there, nuts and bolts onto there. And then there's two wires there, which I guess go into those two wires there. So we'll take another Allen screw, put a washer on it. Take the light, cables out the bottom, through the slot, through the hole, and without dropping it. <laughs> a washer on the back, and a now lock nut on there so it doesn't bad break loose. And then we have another one, we'll do the same with that. In the light, there's a red and a blue, and a red and a blue, and we'll just plug those together. And there we are, assembled, out the box and assembled in, I'd say about, let's put that up, 20 minutes. Now I'm familiar working on bikes, so it might take somebody who doesn't know the way around a bike as quick, but uh, certainly easy and all the parts was there it's well packaged there's no marks on anything and the spanners that come with it and the tools that come with it are really good too I'll go around everything now we'll make sure everything's tight even the things that i haven't put together i'll just make sure everything's okay but it comes with a key and you switch it on and off here with a key and that key enables you to take the battery out as well but to get the battery out you can lift the seat which is good the seat's adjustable on this clamp, undo the clamp, slide it to your height, put it back and it's got some suspension actually in the seat as well. Suspension front forks that are adjustable, you can switch them on or off. It's pretty good isn't it? We're going to have some fun on that. I just hope we've got a trailer, a dog trailer. And I'm hoping the dog trailer will fit on back of this and we could take Rosie for a spin, see how she gets on. Lou has been in it, he's not a fan. But when Ben, our last, our first whip it was very old, we used to take Ben in it. And he was okay in that. Got bounced about a bit, did but he could still come on our adventures. There's one thing about building this in your kitchen. It won't actually fit out the door now. <laughs> Thankfully, it'll go out the front. Why are you look at me as if I'm stupid, Louis? So let's have a closer look at it. It's got seven gears, obviously a derailleur. It's a Shimano derailleur and gear set. It's a rear hub motor, 750 watts. And it's a 20.3 amp hour battery. So plenty of power. And it's 48 volts as well. To use it there's a key so you can turn it on there and that key also um, enables you to unlock the battery as well take the battery out and then up here I don't know if you'll see this it's probably flashing on the camera but you press that and hold it and it comes on and if you press it again it switch the lights on and then on here you've got a high and low beam if you want to switch the light off, you press that again. And then the bottom button on here goes from power assist one, power assist two, to power assist three. There's a battery display to show how much power you've got, how fast you're going and how far you've been. And it's got a little horn as well. The seat is adjustable. There's a clamp here and the seat slides up and down. And it can go from, well, I'll look at the specs, but I'm, I'm six foot and there's plenty of room. It goes far higher than I need it and it also works for Joe as well, so there's a good range on it. And to take the battery out, there's a little clip under the seat. You turn the key all the way around and the battery just lifts out. On the top, you have a throttle, and this is a thumb throttle, and you simply press that and it gives you power. And then you have up and down gears with these two levers here. This is just a camera back I put on to get some filming, so don't worry about that. Front suspension, which is more than adequate for where this bike needs to be run. I mean, I've got it up here on dirt tracks. And it's probably not designed to do this, but it's been amazingly great fun. Particularly with Rosie in the trailer. 
disc brakes and cable disc brakes um, and they're really easy to work on not like hydraulics and I think that's all it needs for this type of bike that's a bracket for the trailer so don't worry about that back and front mud guards and the big basket on the front to put your stuff in this again is just a camera bracket don't worry about that piece of wood on the back and you can unscrew this, take this off, fit panniers and then put that back on. Or you could put a bigger box on that. Because it is a cargo bike, it's designed for taking things around or going shopping or moving things around. There's plenty of room on it. We've been to the shops on it a few times. It's the go-to bike at the moment. We've had so much fun. Grin Factor is fantastic, really is funny. It's an aluminium frame, so that makes it slightly lighter. All the specs for this will be in the description. I'll see if I can put a slide in as well. But it obviously makes it lighter if you take the battery out. So if you want to put it on the rack of back of a car or on a bike, a uh, rack on a camper van, if you take this out, it makes it a lot lighter. And they're aluminium wheels and super chunky tyres. But <laughs> it's been... <laughs> smile factor for this is excellent we've really enjoyed doing this video and we've had such a laugh with it and even our neighbors keep saying can i borrow the bike to go to the shop on <laughs> you've got some holes pre-drilled and tapped holes here so you can put a water bottle on or you can put another one there or well, there's probably other attachments you can fit on there like a pump or whatever you need or a lock thing i'm really impressed with is that you can get all the parts for this all the accessories and parts so if you do break something or need to service something you can get all the parts off the website delivered to your house do you want to have a go in here rosie go in there in your bed in your bed go in your bed good here you go good girl there's a good girl do you like it in there you all right in there rosie is that all right? Is that okay? <laughs> Do you want to go for a ride? That's it, have a lay down. Are you ready for a ride? 